Welcome to Titans Camp Rewind from the Bet MGM Studios at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Well, we also have someone else. Well, I guess here, we Mike. should acknowledge that. I guess that, we should we? acknowledge him too. Tennessee Titans, great. Delaney Walker is also here. And Delaney, we know that Amy Adams Strunk has really put a premium on making sure that former Titans, former Houston Oilers even feel included, feel like they have a place to call home here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. What does it feel like being out here for a training camp practice where you don't have to suit up? <laughs> it actually feels great. You know, I'm not uh, sweating or have to hit anybody, but no, Amy giving us this opportunity to come back into the building. A lot of legends, a lot of former players, they want that opportunity to feel like they have a home, especially if they live in the state that the team is in. So it's great that she's opening it up for us to come and uh, just be around the players. Everybody talks about Delaney Walker and the comp now is Chigakonkwo. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from the second year tight end from Maryland that gets you excited about him for the coming season? I've seen a lot with Chig, just watching him in training camp, just the confidence. I think it's his confidence level has grown a lot and that's gonna make him more explosive and make more plays um, to come this year. And I'm excited to see what he do. When you see him, do you see yourself? I do, I do, but you know, I also see him, you know, I, and, and my message to him is be him. You know, because that's what got him here. I know a lot of people say he they remind he remind him of me, but at the end of the day, he need to be himself because that's what got him here, and he'll be his, he'd be great if he do that. We're excited to see this offense, but we really haven't seen much of it yet, and that's by design, right? Of course, of course, it's preseason. We don't want to give anything away. Again, we added D Hop. Uh, he's going to be explosive. We got Derek Henry that's 100% fresh, and then Ryan Tannehill coming back fresh. So I'm excited to see what them guys can put together and, and, and put on a show. But again, we won't show everything. It is preseason. We want to leave a, have something to give them guys with that punch, you know. And the, speaking of punch, the physicality of the defense is obvious. Oh, our defense has always been a, a key point of our success. So um, just to build on that, adding guys in the back end, DBs, uh, some um, defensive line, I feel like we're going to be explosive and physical like we always are. He could do this for a living. He could do this no. for a living. <laughs> no. I think you should. I uh, wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Delaney, when we've talked a lot about Tim Kelly and Titans' new offensive coordinator, we heard a lot about tight ends and the things that he likes to do with tight ends. As a tight end, does that excite you? It's all, it always excites me when you have an offensive coordinator who loves to give the ball to the tight ends because I feel like the tight ends is sometimes the key point in the offense. You know, he's that blanket. He's that guy we need to look for for them quick first downs, but also blocking the run game. So um, just to give them plays to be more explosive, I think that helps out the offense. All right, enough about the Titans. Let's talk about you for a second. What are you doing right now? Um, I actually work for the NFL. I work for the Legends community. I'm a Legends coordinator. I deal with five year and out guys who's are, who are transitioning out of the NFL. So I try to help them get benefits and things like that. And, you know, we do crisis calls, uh, try to walk you through some of the things that we have out there for players who are retired. That's an awesome way for you to get involved in a community that is part of a bigger fraternity that right. not everybody gets to be a part of. Very true. Very true. Well, that's what Delaney Walker is saying, and we appreciate you coming by to see us. Thank you. Enjoy practice. Now let's see what the Titans are saying. I'm excited. Um, you know, we're a couple weeks away from playing um, New Orleans. My skill set is just, you know, uh, pass rushing, being a football player, you know, so I think uh, just the coaches had faith in me to do that, so, you know, I went out there and did it. You know, we love being competitive, making each other better. And, um, you know, it's going to be chirping around, especially when, you know, it's uh, blue versus white. And uh, we both want to win, so it's a lot of fun. I think we got a lot out of it. A lot of guys got better. A lot of guys got a chance to make plays. We just all went out there and went to work, and I felt like it was a great day of practice. It brought out a lot of competition between the guys, and it's good competition. Yeah, but either way it goes, it's always room for improvement. Always time to put in more work and just keep getting better. I'm excited about, about where we're at. You know, a lot of guys have put in a lot of work, got a lot better over the course of uh, – Course of training camp. From OTAs to the uh, mini camp to training camp, I, I feel like we have put it together. Mike Keith, it's time to talk about what they're doing. And I think that we need to talk about a couple position groups here. First up, the secondary. We've seen a lot of plays coming out of that part of the team. We've seen a lot of guys step up. What stood out to you? What they're doing is getting up in their business. Uh, and that's what we thought when the Titans brought Chris Harris in from Washington to coordinate the pass defense and also coach the corners. He runs the entire secondary. 
When we saw the Titans play Washington last year, we were really impressed by the fact that in every situation, defensive backs for the Washington Commanders made every completion hard. They challenged everything. They didn't break up every pass. They didn't intercept every pass, but they made it very, very difficult. And so far, that's what we've seen from Chris Harris's group to this point in camp and through two preseason games. They're up in people's business, celebrating, playing very aggressively, and trying to challenge every pass as best they can. You hear how excited he is? That's because he just had the chance to talk to Chris Harris. We're gonna share that with you right now. Chris, are they meeting the intensity that you want to see? Uh, they are. Uh, the guys come out. They come out to work every single day. So it's been a joy to work with those guys. You know, I'm. I like to have fun. I like to run around. I like energy, and uh, they're they're embracing that. I was going to say now. It seems like you uh, you get pretty fired up yourself. How tired are you at the end of a practice or a game? Oh, uh, I'm I'm drenched in sweat most uh, most days out there. You know, I just. I'm passionate about what I do. I love what I do, and uh, I think it kind of shows in the way I go about my business. And uh, I, just, I just want our guys to play with passion because nothing great has ever come without passion. So you know that's that's what we're after. Were you more excited as a player, or are you more excited now as a coach? Uh, that's a great question. I'm probably more excited as a coach now. Um, you know, getting a chance to uh, teach. I love teaching. Um, it's kind of in my in my blood. Both of my parents were teachers. They're retired educators in Arkansas, and so I think I just got it naturally. And, and I love teaching and inspiring and connecting with guys. Got some good help to Scott Booker first coaching the safeties. What does he add? Oh, Scott, he's always prepared. He, there's no stone unturned when it comes to book. You know, he's always going to be prepared. He's always going to be extremely organized, and it's great to have somebody like that. Him as well as uh, Justin J. Ham. You know, he's got coordinator experience at the college level. Uh, he played the game, and so having him in the room as well, we've got a great complement of uh, coaches. Yeah, I want to know about Justin Hamilton. He was the defensive coordinator at Virginia Tech, took a year off. How did you convince him to come here? Oh, I don't think I had to do any convincing. Uh, you know, Dr. J. Ham, uh, he's just been doing an outstanding job. He really understands football. It's, it comes natural to him, and uh, he, he has a way of connecting with all the players. So it's, it's been a beautiful thing to watch. And then from the leadership standpoint, do you start with Kevin Byard? Because I think you probably certainly don't end there. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we, we have a great group of leaders in our back end, uh, with Kevin being the guy. Kevin's come in, and it, I didn't get to see it all OTAs, and then when he came in for mini camp, I was like, whoa, okay, seeing his leadership and a hook. I, I think Hook has a, a great way of going about leading his way, and then Christian. Uh, and SMB, those guys are really stepping up uh, to the leadership role in the cornerback room, so it's, it's been fun to watch. It's been a good maturation. The next position group that we need to talk about is the running backs. Now, Mike Keith, Derrick Henry is still doing Derrick Henry things. He will always do Derrick Henry things. But there are other guys who are making plays in that group as well. Yeah, Tajay Spears is the one who really jumps out first and foremost. We've seen him at Chicago. We've seen him at Minnesota. We've seen him in the passing game. We understand his versatility. So Henry, who has had a very good camp, albeit quiet because the Titans have sort of kept the bubble wrap on number 22. And then Spears, who's gotten more work and shows the versatility. Then what comes after that? Some injuries have opened up opportunities for guys like Julius Chestnut. He had 13 carries for 98 yards, and he caught a touchdown pass against Minnesota. Julius Chestnut has had a really, really nice start to camp as he's been given opportunities due to injuries to others. And you know, Mike, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. True. Because we had Julius Chestnut mic'd up during his game against the Minnesota Vikings. Here's what we are posting at TennesseeTitans.com. First down. Good shit, boy. That didn't go, man. Willis gives Chestnut on the right. Here he comes. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And he is taken down on a hustling play by Theo Damn. Jackson. Let me get a, let me get a water. <laughs> Let's go! Come on! Gonna give it to Chestnut on the right. He cuts back to the middle. He dives forward into the end zone. Oh, oh, Touchdown! Oh, oh, None oh, other than Julius oh, Chestnut! 
You can catch his full Wired for Sound at TennesseeTitans.com or on the Titans app. And Mike Keith, this wraps up training camp. Titans Camp Rewind is done. Thank you for watching all four editions. We appreciate it, and we hope to do more of it coming up in the future. We'd also appreciate it if you would listen to Amy and Dave McGinnis and Rhett Bryan and the entire group, including Ramon Foster, as we've got the broadcast of New England at Tennessee Friday evening from Nissan Stadium. You can hear it on your favorite Titans radio station, beginning with Titans Countdown at 6 Central. Kickoff is set for 7.15 Central. It is going to be a warm one. Yes. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Bring it on. All right. We'll have a fan. Yeah. Don't worry. Good. For Amy Wells and our outstanding crew, I'm Mike Keith, thanking you for joining us for Titans Camp Rewind all during the month of August.